So what do you got here? It's a um, Sharp Twin Famicom. Right. It's a um, Japanese Nintendo with the this system built into one thing. Hold on, Basil. Yeah. Right. It just takes the usual. The original brick. Look at the uh, font on there. It's a Japanese. You normally, how I look at it, That's I too dark. notice I by can't the font. Find it. Yeah, I'll it's look Japanese. at it. Japanese. Yeah, see the power supply? Yeah, it's the, the same. same. Yeah, we use the same thing that they use. Basil. Oh, these are the Japanese. The Wrecking Crew. That's awesome. Ice Claimer. Okay. Sky Destroyer. What's the... I'll just enjoy uh, it. Sky Shark. Uh -huh. Probably. Original Mario Brothers. Oh, that's so this cool. is the original release right here. This is predates our version now. Mario 3. So that came out in 88. Wars came out in 90. Yeah, let me see that one. And Spartan X, which is Kung Fu, I think. Which is Kung Fu. So these are some decent games here to have. Never seen one of these in person. Well, I mean, what do you think, Basil? Came out here in the United States. Well, well, yeah, but I've never seen a Nintendo not made by Nintendo. Uh, well, so this I isn't have, actually. So this is like a third party one in Japan. Yeah, because in Japan they, they weren't as strict as they were here in the states. That's why the cartridges. You can see why here. Um, you can see why on Tato, it says Tato. Do you see okay, that? How yeah, they had they, it molded? So they did their own cartridges. So yeah, Konami, Tato, it's they actually... Like how, yeah, so when it. you have a cartridge, it's made by Konami. Yeah. They actually made that cartridge in Japan. Where here in the States, Nintendo made every cartridge. Because right. you had to go right... You had to go directly through Nintendo. Hazel. And because the other companies could do that, that's how you got those other more... Powerful chips and stuff later uh -oh. on, and Nintendo was like, "Yeah, all right, we'll just we'll put that stuff." That's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, I see these. These are this is cool. Now you, the, here's the disc system right here. Yeah, did you buy any disc games? No, I don't have any yet. The button's not out because there's not a game in there. Okay. But when you want to play, see how this is locked. Yeah. That's because of this. See this latch? Yeah. This see how cool. that see how that unlocks? Yeah. Okay, when you want to play the disc system, you have to lock the cartridge. Now this is on. Okay. You can't have This it. is now it'll play this. So yeah. So there was never And like this is the eject. Right yeah. And then you have power and reset. And right here, the thing with um the with Famicom in Japan though is the controllers are hardwired in. in. Yeah, well, that's cool. So, and mine too. are faded, yeah, kind of. These were like back somewhere, somebody had them up somewhere in a cabinet and the sun got to them. But 
with the Japanese family kind of stuff, the accessories, like the light gun and stuff, and yeah. the uh, the arcade sticks and stuff, they use this Universal Serial bus, so you can get a lot of, like, third-party joysticks like a, and shit, a lot yeah. of computer accessories what and stuff. What is this thing over here? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Oh, it's a... Uh, Nice. AV cable. Oh. oh, look at that. It can use the uh, AV cable for the yeah. Super Nintendo. Oh, there we go. And uh, here's all the stuff in the back. So the RF one's right here. Yeah. Then you got your regular ones, and there you go. So how much so was this that? This is made by Sharp. See? That's nice. Twin Famicom. Yep. Sharp. Yep. So this is a Nintendo not made by fucking Nintendo, which is cool but it's weird all right and it says famicom mobile on the yeah, put the cartridge in there. pretty cool yep